Yo guys, what is up? Got some control on Exodus Blue, like one of my favorite maps, we'll see why. Uh, this is really my first Destiny commentary since the game came out. I've posted non-gameplay videos, or non-commentary videos. And uh, I have to say, this is going to be kind of my review on the game. So, get into it. I have no PvE content to post, I don't plan on it, because PvE, as much as it's balanced, as much as it uh, seems to be fun, it, you can really do all your PvE shit in a day, once you hit the whole 28, whatever, so, I hit 28 last night, finally, I've really slowed down on the playing, I have about 3 days into the game, I believe. Two days, seven hours, so. Um, I'm gonna break it down. PvE, it's balanced as it is. It can be fun, but. Uh, once you hit 28, there isn't shit to do. If you don't feel like raiding, then really the only thing there is for you to do in PvE is your weekly heroic and your uh, nightfall strike. That's about it. They are on a supposed 10 year plan. I just read this morning that we won't get another raid till the next expansion, apparently. So, it's going to be PvE wise, there's not going to be shit to do. And honestly, this game shouldn't have been on a 10 year plan to begin with. It should have been, uh, let's see how the game will be first before we spend all this money and announce expansion packs before we even think the game's going to be successful. So it's kind of a catch-22. They failed in that aspect. Um, PvP side of things, PvP can be fun, but if you do not have a full auto, PvP is going to be your nightmare because I was below 1 KD when the game started. Wasn't using, didn't have full auto, so I just used pulse rifle and things with the shit, so, if you have full auto, you should be fine, I recommend the gun I have, if you don't have an exotic or legendary, it's the Shinjin's, Shinjin E, it's pretty nice, low recoil, gets the job done, I would have the Zero Gene this week, but I did not have this, uh, Strange Coin, so, kinda just wait on that, I guess, uh, PvP, unbalance, has its quirks. Weapons need to be balanced a lot better for it. I just feel like they put their whole team on doing the PvE aspect of the game, and to be honest, there really isn't much to the PvE aspect of the game. So, I mean, it's like, to compare it to anything, this is a fail. Compare it to anything, it's like vanilla Diablo release. Pretty shit, nothing to do. Play story all day, every day. Story's not even that good. I mean, I. When I play Diablo 3 now, I don't even play through the story half the time. I end up doing bounties and leveling that way. But, uh, as far as weapon balance in general, PvE, the only thing that's unbalanced, I believe, is scout rifles. I have a legendary scout rifle, and my blue weapons still do a lot better than that scout rifle. It's if you have a scout rifle, you have a hand cannon, hand cannon's probably going to be better 9 times out of 10, because, I don't know, it just seems like they really fucked up the scout rifle since beta, because it's actually halfway decent in beta. Uh, as far as primaries go, I feel like pulse rifles are the best in PvE, autos are better in PvP. And that's, I just think that's going to be the general nature of PvP, that full autos are going to be better, because they tear through shit a lot quicker. Uh, secondary, shotgun snipers and fusion rifles. Fusion rifles seems pretty OP in PvP, like the first week, but I don't really see them anymore. For me personally, shotgun. All day, every day. Most of the maps accommodate the shotgun pretty well. There's only two maps that don't accommodate it, and that is First Light on Moon and uh, Bastion 
whatever on Mars. So, if those are the maps, then you probably want to bring out a sniper or a fusion rifle on those maps because, honestly, uh, the shotgun really doesn't do well on those maps. There's no close quarters like this map and most maps in general, so. Uh, for PvE, I like to use shotguns, hands down. I'm not a sniper type person, I'm not a sit back type person. I like to be in their face no matter what. So I'm, I'm that way in a while because I play tank. But as far as heavy weapons go, rocket launcher versus uh, machine gun, it really depends on your style. Uh, I'll switch back and forth between the two in PvE. PvP, I like my heavy machine gun, especially the one I have here. It's hardly any recoil once it's upgraded. It's the painted arm TGAD. It's pretty nice for uh, PvP. Hardly any recoil. Massive amounts of damage. So, you saw me go into terror with it earlier. It's pretty nice. Uh, and uh, class balance really uh, hunters kind of blow through everything. Blade Dancer in PvP is extremely overpowered. Well, if you can't really, if you're playing against a dumbass hunter who doesn't know what they're doing with Blade Dancer, well, about 9 times out of 10, you can just back up and kill them. But if you're playing against someone who knows what they're doing, it's going to be rough. It really shines through how ridiculously OP that class actually is. So, Warlocks, well, let me break down. Gold gun hunters aren't as OP because they have to aim for their super, so they're not as bad. Sunslinger locks are shit, at least from my experience. Nova's where it's at. They do the most damage, it seems. That's what I play. Run out of time. Uh, the Titan spec that doesn't bring the shield up is the best spec for PvP. So, shield's better for PvE. Final score is 26 and 8. If you, uh, if you want a decent game, pick up Destiny. I mean, it's not really worth the 60 bucks in my opinion, but don't buy into all the hype. Check the game out. My next video will be about why not to hype up a game. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed it. Peace out.